The Audacity Mix and Render command, which formerly was the Quick Mix command, does what the name says. The Mix and Render command will mix together any number of tracks and render them as mono or as stereo, whichever you specify. How to do this begins with the additional step of splitting this stereo track into two individual tracks. This is not really part of a mix and render sequence, but it is something you'll need to know how to do if you don't already. The reason for using this particular audio file is that you can clearly see which sound is on which track. The audio itself doesn't matter, but FYI, the name of the file is Bonk Ring, and it sounds like this. Returning to the subject, most of the commands used for splitting this stereo track into two separate tracks are the same commands used for a mix and render, and most of them are in the end zone at the left end of a track. In the end zone, click the small down pointing arrow and a menu appears. In the menu, click to separate the stereo track into two individual tracks. This job is going to be a mix down to mono, so it would make sense to click the Split Stereo to Mono option, but for this demonstration, the choice is Split Stereo Track. Now there are two separate tracks, but the tracks are marked as Stereo Left and Stereo Right, because they previously were a stereo track. This is the beginning of the actual mix and render sequence. The separate tracks will be mixed and then rendered as a new mono track. This example uses two tracks, but it could be any number of tracks, and the tracks could be mono or stereo, it makes no difference. The sequence is always the same. First, label each track as mono, stereo left, or stereo right. Second, select all the tracks to be mixed, and then finally, click the Mix and Render command. Doing those things now, first the tracks must be labeled. Back to the end zone at the left end of the track. In the end zone, click the same down pointing arrow, and the same menu appears. In the menu, the options for left channel and right channel are for a mix down to stereo, but this is a mix down to mono, so click Mono. The same for the second channel, or any number of channels. Label each channel as mono, left or right, for the mix down you intend. With all the tracks labeled, the second step is to select the tracks to be mixed, which usually is all of them, but doesn't have to be. Whether it's some or all, more than one track is always selected for a mix down, obviously, and Audacity provides two ways to select more than one track. The first way is to click in the end zone to select the first track, then press and hold the shift key, then click in the end zone of each additional track. Continue to hold down the shift key as you select all the tracks to be mixed, and after all the tracks are selected, release the shift key. Back to before any tracks were selected, and the second way to select more than one track is probably the best if you're going to select all the tracks. Use the Windows keyboard shortcut, Control plus A which is actually a SELECT ALL command, in this case meaning SELECT ALL TRACKS. If you're not that familiar with the Windows keyboard shortcuts, here's how to do it. The name of the command is CONTROL plus A. The action is to hold down the CONTROL key, tap the letter A, and release the CONTROL key. As before, all the tracks are selected, in this case two, but it would be the same no matter how many tracks there were, Control plus A selects all. So the tracks have been labeled as mono, stereo left, or stereo right, then the tracks to be mixed were selected. The reason for doing this in the first place was to mix the tracks, then render them as mono or as stereo, whichever the job called for. So in the Tools menu, click Tracks, then click Mix and Render, and the job is done. It's usually a good idea to hit rewind, 
for the sake of putting everything into neutral. And that's how to do it. Your comments are welcome. Please give me a rating. Please subscribe. And thanks for watching.